And while Ohio State's postseason fate will be determined over the next two and a half weeks, Ohio Northern begins their playoff run this Saturday at Franklin, Indiana. As the Polar Bears return to the D3 playoffs for the first time since 2010. ONU is fresh off a 42-10 win over Otterbein as senior Justin Magazine scored six touchdowns and rushed for a career-high 204 yards to earn the OAC Offensive Player of the Week for the second straight week. Polar Bears in as an at-large bid. They'll face HEAC champs Franklin, who've won 49 of their last 50 league games and have made it to the playoffs eight of the last nine years. Grizzlies are on an eight-game winning streak, including a 49-30 one win at Bluffton in September, while ONU has won five in a row. And after a tough first half schedule, Dean Paul likes where his team is at heading into the postseason. I mean, we're playing really good football. Uh, we feel like we're fairly healthy, knock on wood. Uh, we've had, you know, just kind of, I think, peaking at the right time, the second half of the season. Certainly we didn't play as many nationally ranked teams or, or even winning teams in the second half as we did the first half of the season. But, you know, but you know, just the way we're playing, we feel really good about uh, kind of both sides of the ball kind of coming together and playing at a good level. It's, it's a challenge, though, because if you lose a couple games like we did with a brutal early schedule, you got to keep everybody focused. you got to keep the morale up you got to keep your eyes set on what goals are still out there and you know there's two ways you can look at it I mean we probably would have been ranked higher if we had been running the way we were playing the second half of the season we started off 5-0 and and just rolling up big numbers we probably would have been a top 12 or top 10 ranked team uh, even and then probably not dropped as far when we lost so you know it's just you just take the schedule the way it falls and you try to make the best of it and it was certainly challenging with the freshman quarterback playing the kind of teams we did in the first half of the year.